Wow. Well, if you weren't sure who had the stronger relationships on the show before, well, you definitely know now. What's going on, YouTube? Uh, and man, oh man. The first episode of season eight so far, in my opinion, that was actually great. So much action, so much betrayal. Although the betrayal wasn't with their free will, but you know, still. I really, really, really enjoyed this episode. But there is one part in particular that I really want to key in on. And that's the big fight scene between Damon and Enzo. I was so pumped up. You would have thought that this was like a real life, really big boxing match or something. That's how pumped up I was. Because I knew sides were gonna have to be chosen. And I wanted to see if there were any surprises with those sides that were taken. And of course, there wasn't. Stefan took Damon's side. Caroline took Bonnie's side and Bonnie took Enzo's side while Damon remains completely out of his mind with no control pretty predictable as far as that goes but this was all still really exciting and the only thing I'm really disappointed about is that a part of me no not a part of me all of me wanted Bonnie to pick Damon and I knew it wasn't gonna happen. I knew it was unrealistic, but I still just wanted it to happen. I wanted it to happen for a few reasons. One, just for the shock factor. Two, because I really, really love the friendship between Bonnie and Damon. And three, I never really cared about the relationship between Enzo and Bonnie. So I was a little bit disappointed with that, but again, wasn't really a surprise or anything. And I also really loved how Stefan once again stood by his brother's side, even when he probably had every reason in the world not to. I'm real big on loyalty, both in real life and on TV shows. Unless, of course, that loyalty goes against what I want obviously but Enzo finally shuts off his humanity so unless Bonnie or somebody else can bring them back I don't know how they're gonna come back unless they can somehow kill Sybil but I'm convinced that there's only one person that can break Damon from this mind control without actually killing the source itself and that person is Elena and I really, really, really hope that that's how this all ends. The only problem with that, though, is if it ends that way, that would mean that they would have to drag the storyline out for several more episodes. But if they can get creative enough, it can certainly be done. And the show ends with Damon possibly killing Tyler. They don't show if he actually dies, but it definitely looked like it was going down that route. That was a nice little cliffhanger, though. I never really liked Tyler anyways to begin with, so I really don't care. But for all of you Tyler fans, I guess this is the end of an era. But that's pretty much all I have to say, guys. I just wanted to give my quick thoughts on this scene because I loved it so much. Even the little comedy thrown in there between Damon and Stefan. And I love how Stefan is the person that Damon turns to when he's at his absolute lowest point. I've always really liked the bond that those two shared. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Besides Bonnie disappointing me a little bit, I really, really like this episode. And if I had to give it a rating, I would probably give it a 9 out of 10. But let me know what you guys thought about this scene and this episode in the comment section below. And if you guys really enjoy my videos and want to help me make even more videos for you guys going forward, check out that Patreon link in the description box. But I'm done talking. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do, but as always, until next time.